What's up you guys, Sunny here with GeekTools.net and welcome to this video review of the Logitech K810 Wireless Illuminated Keyboard. Um, this is it right here. I can tell you straight up that it is such a cool product. Uh, it does come in a couple of flavors. This one I have here is the Windows model with the gum metal and the piano black finish. It also comes in a Mac edition with a white and silver finish. The only difference between them are the actual function keys across the top and also the function keys on the lower left hand corner. Uh, but other than that, the actual form factor and the style of the keyboard is exactly the same. So before I get into any of the details and specifications, I'm going to give a quick hard hardware tour and then we'll go into the specifics. So looking at the back of the keyboard, uh, you'll just notice some Logitech branding, uh, Bluetooth illuminated keyboard K810, and also some serial number information there. Along the perimeter we have four rubber tabs uh, just to prevent the keyboard from sliding. This little button here, this tiny little guy, is to reset your Bluetooth connections. So a really cool feature about this keyboard is that you can connect up to three Bluetooth devices. So for example, I can connect up to a tablet, a smartphone, and a computer, and I can switch between them using these keys at the top here. So I can switch between my devices. Um, this button here is just to reset all of the Bluetooth signals. On the right hand side, we have a on and off switch. On the top, we have a micro USB for charging. And now actually looking at the uh, re actual layout of the keyboard, you'll notice that it is a fairly standard layout other than these little arrow keys on the side here, which is uh, sort of cl clumped together. Uh, but that's to be expected because of the form factor of this keyboard. Um, Logitech did not compromise on any of the keys. As you can see, we have a full shift key, a full enter, and a full backspace. Uh, so no compromises here. I did notice that uh, these keys were a bit squishier than average keys. If I put it up to the camera, you can even hear it being a bit squishy. So, so instead of having that sort of a satisfying click that you would normally hear on a chiclet style keyboard or on a, even an Apple keyboard, these feel a lot more squishy. Uh, some people may find it annoying. Some people might find it as a feature. You still have to try the keyboard to know what's best for you. Uh, really, it's all about personal preference at this point. Um, if you look closely, I, I don't know if you can notice that, but these keys have sort of a bend to them. So they have a more of a wedge, sa uh, wedge shape to them, which is good because they sort of hug your fingers as you type, making it very comfortable. Uh, also, uh, these arrow keys, uh, once again, it's a it is a compromise, I guess, but a lot of people don't take advantage of the arrow keys anyways, so it's not a huge deal, at least in my opinion. Also note that this is just a QWERTY section of a keyboard, uh, so half a keyboard, no number pad. Uh, Logitech does not make an option for a number pad, because as a Bluetooth keyboard, they expect you to be carrying it around, and uh, to me, I think this form factor is perfect, because you can easily slide it into a purse or a backpack especially if you're a person that's on the go. Um, that said, the battery life on this device is actually really good. Uh, I've gotten around 10 to 11 days of real life use out of them, and that's using it about 8 hours a day. Uh, Logitech is, I believe, one of the first companies to incorporate backlit illumination. So, uh, before I go on here, I just wanted to show you the backlighting. As you can see, the keys, let me go ahead and shut off the light here, the keys are actually glowing. There are LEDs uh, underneath the keyboard that shine upwards, so it gives that backlit illumination. And this is just fantastic if you're typing in a dark environment, such as if you're, late, you're working late or in a uh, lecture hall, which is a bit dark. This is perfect for that because, I mean, you can see the keys just as clearly as it is in the daytime. Um, but this is really rare. I think this is just one of the first keyboards I've ever seen with backlight illumination. And the reason for that is obviously battery life constraints. I mean, we have a wireless device. It's all about battery life. It's how much you can get out of the device. Um, if you're talking about a wired keyboard, it's quite common. Uh, most wired keyboards do come with backlighting these days. Uh, but for a wireless keyboard, it's almost unheard of. So it is really awesome that Logitech has made a keyboard like this. Uh, I think you know Logitech innovating uh, in such a way where it's sort of separate from the rest of the group. Um, so 
obviously battery life is a huge constraint, but how a Logitech actually gets those 10 hours of battery life is kind of cool because there's uh, a lot of really cool technology built into the keyboard itself for it to be able to have the 10, uh, uh, 10 days of battery life as stated before. Uh, so the first feature that is really cool is the proximity sensor built in. So if I turn the light off, and notice how the keyboard is off at the moment. But if I wave my hand over it, notice how it automatically starts turning on. And notice when my hands are not on the keyboard or near the keyboard, the backlighting automatically dims down. Um, this feature is super cool because, well, first of all, just that you're waving your hand over a keyboard and it turns on, that's the coolest thing. When you, whenever I do it, all my friends are like, well, that's, that's awesome. Um, another thing is, they have an ambient light, set, light sensor built onto the black plastic part of the keyboard. So um, if it's a brightly lit environment, it's not going to turn on the backlighting because it's not necessary. Uh, but if it's in a dimly lit room, obviously the light sensor will pick that up and enable the backlighting. Uh, all these settings can be overridden uh, using these little keys up here. So you can manually, manually adjust these settings from here. So uh, that said, let me show you one really, really cool feature that I found about this keyboard that I haven't seen on any other keyboard or uh, any other brand, uh, as a matter of fact. So across the top here, you see three Bluetooth buttons. And this is one of the coolest features about this keyboard, because what you can do is connect up to three Bluetooth devices. Um, so for example, if I have a tablet and a smartphone and a computer, I can use one keyboard instead of three different keyboards. Um, this first of all saves money because before what you need to do is buy three keyboards for each one of these devices. But with Bluetooth technology built in, you can just easily switch between them just by pushing a key. Uh, to show you this, uh, I'm going to do everything live. So if you hang on with me, we're going to go ahead and zoom out a little bit. And you notice I have my iPad with me right over here. And to connect it, it's very simple. We are just going to my settings. We'll go into my Bluetooth, turn our Bluetooth on. And to connect a device, all we have to do is hold on a Bluetooth button for around five to eight seconds, and it'll start blinking like that. And you'll notice that it automatically showed up on the iPad, Logitech K810. Go ahead and push on that. And now it's connected. So uh, let's go ahead and go home. Notice that we're home. And this keyboard is also customized for the Windows 8 experience, but you can also use it for tablets. So along the top, you see these function keys have special functions on it. So for brightness control, uh, for play and pause music, volume up and down. Uh, home and the keyboard. So this is not just customized for the Windows 8 experience, it's also customized for tablets because Logitech knows that you might be using this keyboard for more than one device and more than one scenario. Uh, so let's go into my notes here and we'll go ahead and add a new note and from there we could just start typing. As you can see, very responsive, no latency uh, and if I want to switch to, if I'm done with this with this device and I want to switch to my phone, for instance, I just click on another Bluetooth button, it will go ahead and switch straight to my phone. So it is really, really cool. And uh, once again, this is one of the first keyboard to integrate technology like this. And it just shows the power of Bluetooth. So I'm just going to put my iPad to one side and adjust the camera here. And if you just give me one sec. Alright guys, and we are back. So the next thing I wanted to talk about are the function keys across the top. Now, using the software that Logitech includes called Setpoint, you can program these function keys to do whatever you want, but as default, they do come with some standard functions. Um, just so you know, depending on the what operating system you have the keyboard connected to, it's going to vary a little bit in how uh, these function keys are programmed. So for instance, if I was using Windows 8, it might be a little bit different than if I was using iOS. Um, so if we start off at the very left-hand corner and wait, work our way to the right, we have the escape key, the three Bluetooth connection buttons. This button is totally programmable, but uh, in Windows 8, it brings up the charms bar. We got the brightness up and down for the backlight, play and pause, 
mute, volume down, volume up, a home button, and a keyboard button. Now in Windows 8, this keyboard button brings up the calculator, a print screen, and a delete button. So that's the function keys. Now the last thing I want to talk about before I conclude this video would be the design and the build quality of this keyboard. So uh, Logitech is a very well-known company when it comes to their keyboards and their mice. Um, their quality has been superior and you know they last. I've got multiple Logitech products I've had for five or six years now and they still work fantastic. Uh, and this keyboard is no exception. As you can see, we have a nice brushed gunmetal aluminum for the base, and then we have a nice glossy black plastic. It gives it a really nice and sleek look, and I love it a lot. Um, the only gripe that I do have about it is the glossy black plastic. Yes, it does look good, but I mean, it's a keyboard, and you are going to be touching it a lot, and black piano black plastics do attract fingerprints like there's no tomorrow. And uh, even though I do take quite good care of my products, I've already gotten some scratches and scuffs on this keyboard already. Uh, so the nice solid aluminum construction, and this is a nice 3 millimeter thick aluminum, so it's not like they just put some piece of crap aluminum together. This is a nice solid piece. Uh, also nice and thin, so it's really portable. You can slide into a purse or a backpack, as I stated before. Um, Although it is plastic at the back, of course, it, it doesn't really matter. Uh, what I noticed is when it comes to me comparing this to the uh, Apple wireless keyboard, which is a keyboard that a lot of people are going to compare it with, I noticed that the flex in this keyboard is significantly more than the Apple wireless keyboard. Uh, so a good way to tell if the keyboard is built tough or industrially uh, would be doing a flex test. So if I do it here, you notice the keyboard bends and flexes quite a bit and it really isn't a problem I'm not I'm not saying that any normal person will be sitting somewhere and start flexing their keyboard like this but um, I do notice a bit more than average flex in this keyboard and that could be because of how thin the keyboard is but I just wanted to uh, give you guys a note of that uh, other than that I love this keyboard to death it's a phenomenal, uh, a phenomenal keyboard. The backlighting works great. The connections are great. There's no latency. Uh, Bluetooth is working phenomenal, uh, and that Bluetooth uh, switching capability is just so good. Uh, you don't know how good it is until you get it. That's what. Uh, that's all I have to say for that. Alright guys, so that concludes my video review of the Logitech KA10 Wireless Illuminated Keyboard. If you have any more questions or comments, please email me sunny at masterscene.com, visit my website geektools.net, add me on my personal Skype account just by searching Geek Tools, or my Facebook page, once again just searching Geek Tools. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day, and I'll see you guys in my next video.